case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2010 New Jersey Superior Court case, in ReJM, the court heard a case involving a 42-year-old patient named JM who had been admitted to the Valley Hospital with kidney failure, hypertension, uremia, anemia, and lupus. JM refused the life-saving dialysis treatment recommended by her doctors due to her religious beliefs. With no family or health care directive, the hospital sought the appointment of a special medical guardian for JM as three psychiatrists testified that she lacked the capacity to make a decision about her treatment. A plenary hearing was conducted, and the court ultimately appointed a temporary special medical guardian to consent to dialysis until JM's bun and creatinine levels returned to normal. The court considered the urgency of the medical situation and the need to save JM's life while also considering her right to self-determination. Following the court's decision, JM underwent dialysis treatment and chose not to appeal the ruling. The case highlights the complex balance between an individual's right to refuse medical treatment and the need for informed consent in life-saving situations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.